of uh, time to find Gundren before they, they probably kill him. It says you got about about two weeks before he uh, he has to uh, probably he has about two weeks left from what from what that piece of correspondence or that piece of parchment actually is has said. Yeah. Two weeks is a lot. It's a long time though, man. I would think so. Two weeks. I just feel like we haven't really gotten that much closer to finding him. Honestly, we, we've it's only been two days, guys. So remember mm-hmm. that. I mean, it's only been two days. Yeah, but remember, remember, Sildar also told you that the map was written in an in an old dwarvish code that only he knew. So it's like Sildar said, they're not going to kill him. They need this information. They're not just going to torture him and say, "Okay, you're you're dead because you're not telling us." Because if they did that, you're 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 killing your you're killing your map. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, he says he's got another two weeks that, that he can try to divulge the information from him, and, you know, that's that's what the, he's going to try to do. All right, so what do you guys want to do? Okay, you you, you found uh, those two pieces of correspondence. You also, uh, you're looking at the chest, and, and, it, and it looks unlocked, actually. It looks like a, it's kind, the lid is just kind of sitting there, and it's not even locked or latched. All right, and open it up. Okay, so you open it up, and there's quite a few coins inside. Uh, there's a hundred. You guys can go ahead and and divvy this up now we'll if you'd like. Later. I'll All write right. it down. No, okay, I'll write it down. One hundred. We'll okay, one eighty silver. One thirty gold. And a pouch with five uh, with uh, fifty fifty golden gems. Uh, you also find uh, another 125 gold worth of gems as well. And that's it. Nothing else. Okay. I, I, obviously, I hear uh, Arbor going <gasps> and hear the clanking in the, ch- the chest. <laughs> Yeah, just. I'll say that Arbor picks table. it up. We'll discuss it with him later. Yeah, you say I'll take it all and we'll split it up whenever we rest next time. I, I look over at Orville Deer and say, "Here, Orville Deer, come here and look at this uh, table over here and see if you see anything, maybe a value worth value on it." Loots. Loot. I Might also be. talked to Dirt. I said, "Spies in Neverwinter, strangers are due to arrive in Foundland. Do you think he, he's talking about us?" Also, you guys can take 850 experience as well and divide that by five. By, divide that by four, sorry. So I guess everybody would get basically 200 and what? 216? 800 what? Well. 212? 212, yeah, something like 213? that. 213? Yeah, everybody can take that much XP as well. Uh-huh. And that's from last week, the encounter last week with the uh, the Red Brands and also thus so far. 637. Tonight. All right. So, what do you guys want to do? Well, damn you, Dave, and you're on even XP. I wanted to uh, get you guys caught up. So, what do you guys right. think? What do you Should think of that? Six thirty-seven. Yeah, totally. Yeah, whatever Lazar said. Lazar, Lazar. So, you guys actually <laughs> found out that you guys found out that that glass staff is Larno. What the hell is up with that dirt? Huh? That no, is no, 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 no. I was, I was talking to di- Dirt and saying, you know, strangers arrived to in in Foundland. They could be working with the dwarves. Is he talking about us? I don't know. They, they want us to be captured. Well, I mean, you did have a problem I, with the red brands. They did try to run you off, right? Mm-hmm. Well, they did. They yeah, did. They, that's they may well be talking about us. Maybe Gundren said something about you guys. You don't know. Or, wouldn't give us yeah. up. I don't think. I don't. I don't think he would either. But you never know. But See, he hasn't the, talked about the maps and their possession are delivered to me with haste. Hmm. Is he expecting more with dwarven maps? Uh, I don't know. Let, let's take a look at the. Uh, let's take a look at the handout again. Here it is. 
I'm reading from it, Dave. <laughs> well, just I, I thought you were trying to uh, pull off of of memory, but there it is, right there. There's the handout. Thanks, Dave. Uh, I'm here for you guys. You know I'm going to get you back. <laughs> I, I'm I'm here to be your narrator for this evening. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> That was what you thinking? God dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. So what do you guys think? Now, what do you guys uh, want to do? Can I ask you a question out of character here? Get Dave for a second. Sure. We know Larno. Is it Larno Albrecht? I can't remember off the top of my head for some reason. Yep, it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Larno Albrecht. It is. They might well be. T I look at uh, I look at Rogar and I say, you know, they they may well be talking about us, and we can take it like that, or we can just keep our minds open and, and know that there might be another group involved as well. So, but, you know, until we know for sure what they're talking about, let's keep an open mind on this one. No, I think that group got uh, total party killed. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Remember, it was actually. But we can <laughs> That was awesome. That was pretty good. I like that shot fired. So, basically, his name is Iarno, but I don't like Iarno. I, that's why I call him Larno. So right. it's no mispronunciation yeah, on my part, one of the few times, but I just like Larno better. It's easier on the palate. It's easier a, on the palate. That's why I say Larno. Larno I, Elbrecht. Mm-hmm. I think we should definitely confront this man when we get back. I think yeah. absolutely. He's a he's well, nowhere. Will be interested to know. Yeah, he's nowhere to be found. Arvaldir, please give me a uh, a perception check, please. I've already done that. Very nice. Latest one. What what was that perception check for? To see if there's anything else on the table. Not on the table, no. Everything, all of the correspondence. There's, you know, just like a. There's another, uh, you know, another pot of another, you know, bottle of ink, another quill. Uh, there's like a a ten page journal that's totally blank actually. So if somebody wants a a ten page journal, you can have that as well. And there's a a, a map of the Sword Coast with locations, uh, you know, of. Neverwinter, Waterdeep, Baldur's Gate, you know, where uh, Phandalin is. Basically what uh, what you guys have already. Now, what I want you to do is roll uh, another perception check as well, Arvaldir. Alright, so behind you, you catch a very slight draft of air kind of hits you on the back of the neck and behind you you're able to determine that there is a secret door and it's not 100 percent closed that's where you you know you got this draft of air I'll turn around and open it up do you stig nice or guys this yeah is, that's this solo. Is yeah Should check it's, it out I A R N O. You could call it Yarno. What are you guys saying? Arno. That I'm calling from? it Larno. I got a question. I think you should probably back off and let me up there. So, it's it, it's a partially hidden secret wall. It, there's a you know a, it slides. You can slide it, and this is what you see. Basically, it's a a, a tunnel that goes down into the darkness. And you can actually see, uh, especially with your your vision, you can see that there are fresh footprints. All right, come on back. Okay, come back out and this. <laughs> All right, what's this? I go uh, back and tell the group. It's a dark tunnel. It's fresh footprint footprints. Mm. Well, fresh footprints. Okay, so I go ahead and I uh, sheathe my sword, Dave. Go ahead and put light on me. I'm going to light a torch. Okay. Uh, you light a torch up. Go ahead and deduct one of your torches from your inventory, please. And also... Uh, uh, so yeah, yeah, deduct the other one as well. And you go into the secret, secret door, and this is what you're going to see, dirt. Big dirt. 
I go up right behind. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Give me some light there. I'm going to put you over here. That's what you see, Dirt. It's basically oh, yeah. a, a very narrow case. Uh, this is definitely something that, uh, you know, not supposed to be there. Orville Deer, as you're in there as well, you can see that there is another secret door on the other side here. It is as well, it is pride as well, because you feel uh, a little bit warmer air. Uh, not, not warmer, but the same type of air, the same temperature, you know, to the, to the touch to your skin. But it has like a, a very, very, very slight dankiness type of smell. Sort of like a rotting type of smell. Now, Dirt, uh, you, you go down into this, uh, this tunnel. It leads... Uh, hey, Dave, everything's completely black for me. The whole screen is just complete, 100% black. Oh, okay. Everything, yeah. Except for my character. Yeah, my bad. Here, let me do this real quick for you. There you go. So you should be able to see oh, that. So, yeah. Uh, basically, it's a really small tunnel. Uh, you you know, you have to squeeze your way because you're in, you know, you're in heavy armor. So you're scraping as you're going down this this you know corridor and you go down about 50 60 feet and then you come at you actually start to see what the sun is now you know it pretty much down it's it's almost it is dark outside and you can actually see the transcender mander behind you and you are on the northern uh part of the you know how the escarpments go up on three levels and then the manners up on the, the top of the third level uh you can actually look up and see the the three you know 15 to 20 foot escarpments and you can see that there is you know as the you know there is a very bright moon out that night you can see the transcender manor up above your head behind you so this is definitely a, a, a secret tunnel on the way out looks like it was a uh, something that uh, was like for a, a quick es escape okay All right. so I'm gonna Call, I'm gonna call Stains outside, and I'm gonna say, "Come here, boy. Do your business. Do your business." <laughs> business then, hasn't gone to I'm the bathroom. I'm gonna walk back. Let's go walk the dog. Yeah, and I'm, 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 gonna, kinda, I'm, gonna walk I'm, back I'm gonna look away a little bit and let him do his let him do his deal, and he takes a nice big poop on the uh, outside there. <laughs> Way to RP the snot, sir. I, I, have no I mean, uh, Stains. <laughs> I, I like that dirt. Good job. That's a minus 50 XP. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what are you guys doing? Uh, Arvald here, you, you, you saw the, you guys see? the other door that was yeah. that was pried open as well on the other side. Okay, so there's another entrance leading to somewhere else. It's, it's just, the air was kind of warm. It smelled like, I don't know, something rotting, I, I guess. Where, where did it go? I have no idea. I, I didn't open it. No. Oh. Yeah, so Seeing how I'm the uh, most shit team member, I think you guys should go first, alright? Arvel dear, there were steps Take going down the and staircase, and then, you know, going down the, the escape, the escape yeah, hall, yeah. and then there were actually a couple footprints up where you were at as well. They were facing the wall, and then, you know, they were going down the, the steps as well. So what do you guys think? Yeah. My nose is itching big time tonight. Why? Okay, we should go that way. Outside? I don't want to go south. I mean... No, let's go let's south. Keep going. Do you guys want to go we, visit we the Bug Bears go or what? Yeah, we got to go south. We got to. So. Well, Arbor Deer said he had the other door. Yeah, he said he found another door as well. So. And that, and that tunnel there you guys just came from. Yeah, but... You don't want to well, the footprints it. went through there. Let's go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, what do Downward. you think? I mean, this is no, a democracy, and it's if, not a dictatorship. No, no, no. I mean, no, no. consider that's... myself a leader amongst you people, but we, we you can. Know, you're the noble. <laughs> no, we can. We can absolutely do that. And if they're fresh, they're fresh footprints. Uh, maybe we can catch up to somebody. We we know that there is something definitely to the south. We know that you know the bugbear's down there. We can always right, go right. back for him. So that's okay. Yeah, I'm down with it. Maybe spiders down there. Maybe, maybe. Well, no, I don't think the spiders are because they're they're saying deliver deliver the stuff to him in haste. So I don't think the 
these spiders here. Yeah, but, let's uh, down there. This this concerns me that this Lord Ar Larno Albrecht seems to be the this gla the leader of the red brands, and if we can take out all the red brands, we won't have this problem. So, cut off the snake's head, you don't have you know a snake no more. I agree. Would agree. Yeah, you just have a belt. I'd I'd love a nice snake belt or let's, strap or let's do it. Flask cover or whatever. Go ahead, dirt. So so you what are you torch. guys doing? I've got a torch. Are you guys going? We're gonna to go the, through the, the door. Tunnel? Okay, you're gonna go to the other side of the door. Oh, the other yep. side of the secret door. Yeah, I got you. All right. So you guys all all step through. This is where you guys are at. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's let's take our break here. Take it a little bit early tonight, and uh, okay. we'll get it out of the way, and we will uh, continue yes. after this. You guys want? Can you guys play for a little while tonight, or Zerk? You got a yeah, yeah. sure. You got church or anything tomorrow? You got to go nope. to the temple or anything? All right, cool. All right, I'll uh, I'll see you guys in about uh, about th <laughs> thirteen minutes or so. <laughs> see you about five after the oh, temple. Okay. The temple, nice. I like it. Yeah, I'm worshiping Thor tomorrow. All right, so we're pretty much at the the halfway point. We're gonna probably gonna play a little bit later tonight as well, everyone. So sorry, it's not all hack and slash tonight. But you know, D and D is RP and exploration as well. So I hope everyone is enjoying it. We are doing.